All right, welcome back. This is going to be part 38 of Dinosaurs and Man, and we're going to be now entering part 7 of the topic of were there dinosaurs on the ark. And so the short and sweet answer to that is um, if you believe the creation account that land animals, including the dinosaurs, um, were made with man on day six, like the scripture teaches, then when it comes to Noah taking the different kinds of animals on the ark the Lord that the Lord tells him, um, dinosaurs would be um, um, numbered amongst those. And so um, there's nothing contradictory there. It's contradictory to evolutionary thinking, but it's not contradictory to um, a biblical worldview or a biblical view of this topic here. And so, but um, we're going to see other evidences of dinosaurs and man later on in the presentation. Excuse me. But, uh, but dinosaurs being on the ark would be no problem at all. That's the short, sweet answer to it. But there's questions inside of this one big question. And that's what we've been covering for the past six videos and now this one. And so, and we're going to continue on with a couple more videos. And, um, and I just want to really fill your guys' plates up and that you can have some, something to, uh, to, 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 to hang your beliefs on, on, on why we believe the way we do as far as dinosaurs on the ark and, uh, and the kinds and stuff like that. And so I'm hoping I've been able to make some sense out of what you've seen already. Uh, but if you'll notice on the screen here, how many kinds were on the ark? Now, they believe that there was about 1,400 kinds, 1,400 kinds um, that were on the ark. Now, due to extinction since the animals left the ark, we can only speculate to the number of different kinds originally taken. And guys, there's many animals that came off the ark that are extinct now. Um, so we don't know. We don't know exactly how many. It's hard to get an exact number, just like it's hard for us to get an exact date when the earth was created. We say about 6,000 years. When did the flood happen? About 4,500 years ago, 4,400 years ago. It's about. And so you're getting in a general time frame. And so, uh, but uh, with that number given, we're thinking it's somewhere around 2,000 to 3,000 animals that could have been on the ark. That's from a study back in 2014. Now, I gleaned this information here from two different sources, and I'll we'll talk about that in just a minute. But you're saying, well, wow, that's a pretty good jump about, of, a, of about 1,000 animals. Well, you got to think there was some, some of the clean animals he was to take by sevens, and the unclean animals he was to take by two. And so, you know, that can make the numbers change also. But as far as when you're looking at kinds and species, you've heard me say that over and over and over again. Um, species is, is really a, uh, it really needs to be said variety, variety. Um, uh, and under your kinds uh, or the family in the taxonomy, you have your variety, your different variety of animals. And so, but... When you're when people are saying there's no way Noah could bring all those animals on the ark, well they're they're thinking of species. They're thinking of oh there's no way he could take all the dogs and cats and horses and that's a lot of animals. And then you think of all the other um, varieties of animals under the kind under the kind of that particular animal. And so, but um, mammals. Listen to this. Mammals belong to the taxonomic um, class Mammalia. Nawak, um, in 1999, lists them in 28 orders that include 146 families, which would be the kinds for baromenology. When you hear, when you see families, you're basically seeing the kinds. So let's just say 146 um, different kinds of mammals. All right. Well, under that, you got 4,800 different varieties. So, or species, as in using the uh, the uh, the the common term that you will see, and so you can see that now. It, was he going to bring um, four thousand eight hundred, or was he just going to have to bring one hundred forty six? He would only have to bring one hundred forty six. That drastically drops the number of animals that he's going to have to bring. And so, now to learn more, if you want to really learn more about this. 
Um, look up Answers Research Journal. Answers Research Journal. And guys, get ready to see some long papers because they don't joke around when it comes to this. These people are these people are scientists. They're they've got credentials. They know what they're talking about. They're very well um, uh, learned in the particular field that they write about. Another one to learn more on is um, the uh, Creation Research Society. Creation Research Society. Again, um, these are scientists. These are professors. These are doctors. These people know what they're doing. They're they really just skilled in their knowledge into this. And so um, the Creation Research Society, um, their papers, guys, you better have a background in the terminology that they're going to use. It's, it's a bit of a tough read. Um, the answers in Genesis, though, is a, li- is, is, is a bit easier to read when it comes to their journals. And so, uh, but you can learn more if you want to go that route. Now, how about dinosaurs? Dinosaurs on the ark. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. It has been estimated to be about 668 species. Now, that would be variety. It's estimated to be about 668 different varieties of dinosaurs, but only about 55 created kinds. Now, um, there was another article that I read that said it could be anywhere between 50 to 90 created kinds, and it was a creation article. So, um, there is some pretty, there's some, that, that's a pretty good uh, fluctuation from 55 to 90. You're about double of to what this article right here says. But let's just say it's less than 100, less than 100 created kinds. And so now most dinosaur kinds were small, some being about the size of a rooster. The average size of a mature dinosaur was only about 1,389 pounds or the size of an American bison slash buffalo. Although most were either much smaller or much bigger than that. Many of the species were found as juveniles and had yet fully grown into adult versions. Examples examples of this are the Nanotyrannus. Now, the Nanotyrannus, they believe, is a juvenile T-Rex. It's not a separate type of dinosaur. It's just a smaller version of the T-Rex. Remember, they're just finding bones here. Um, the Dracorex hogwartsia is just a uh, a very young version. I'm going to try to pronounce that. It's Stigmolac. Spinifer. Now that is still in a transition stage to that that would be a pachy, pachycephalosaurus. Um, and so what they're studying is the head, the structure of the skull, the way it's growing together. It's um, The younger versions tend to have more of a spongier um, type of, um, of look to it. And so uh, they believe that these other ones that the, the ho- Drac- Dracorix hogwartsia and the stigmolac is in the Tyrannosaurus, excuse me, the Tyrannus is just a smaller version of the larger ones. And so, again, they're just finding bones. And so, uh, but not every single dinosaur is found is a new type of dinosaur is what I'm saying. And then uh, lastly, the Triceratops would be the young version of a Torosaurus. Again, the sponginess of the skull that they said, um, and they did say that they did find transitional um, phases from a Triceratops to the Taurosaurus. Now that is still debated amongst uh, researchers, but it, the the evidence that they've been able to find seems to point in this direction. Um, they also studied the bones, the bone growth or the patterns um, of the the dinosaur bones and of the growth of them, and they um, they believe that the um, that most of the dinosaurs had a spurt, a growth spurt, um, well into a certain amount of years before uh, the dinosaur reached adult. It would have a spurt of growth, and um, depending on the type of dinosaur, some were um, some of the growth spurts um, were didn't happen until about five years old, and some of them were. Um, many years um, past that. And some, I think some of the articles I read was like 12, anywhere between 12 to 14 years. And so um, again, you know, this is, now I, I will say this, uh, when it comes to ne- Neanderthals or Neanderthals, that really is the way it should be stated, um, <clears throat> the some of the research on the Neanderthals, they believe is just old, slow growth humans. And these humans could have been 
um, as old as like several hundred years old, and they, they lived after the flood. And so let's just say these dinosaurs had a much slower growth than what we would commonly think, okay, I'm five years old. Um, the, what would appear to be a five-year-old dinosaur may be, um, maybe have much older than that because maybe their, their growth spans were much slower than what we think. And that's what, um, um, Kawazu, that's it, Kawazu, Jack Kawazu. I know I was going to get here in just a minute. Jack Kawazu was saying, he said that the um, humans had a much slower maturation, which is basically a, um, a stage of growth to maturity. And so that very well could be when it comes to the dinosaurs also. Um, now, Gregory um, Erickson, a paleontologist at Florida State University in Tallahassee, and other researchers studied dinosaur bones for their growth patterns, or they call them sigmoidal. Sigmoidal. These patterns showed to be more similar to birds and mammals as far as the growth patterns. And so, uh, but, um, and, you know, and you think about that too, if they're in the ark, you know, they're in the ark, they were in the ark a total of one year and 10 days. If anybody wants to know, they were actually in the ark for a total of one year and 10 days. So you definitely don't want a dinosaur having a growth spurt during that time. So if God, um, had uh, several very young dinosaurs before their growth spurt happened on the the uh, on Noah's Ark. That growth spurt would not hit until after they were off the ark. And so, uh, but um, now, as far as the uh, the the kinds of dinosaurs, just real roughly, um, just this is just to show you um, one of the things that you know we think may be different types of dinosaurs, but maybe actually the same kind. And so this is one here, um, the Apatosaurus and the Diplodocus. The, if you look at the skulls over to the left-hand side, they're almost identical, guys. I mean, they're almost identical. And so they believe that the Apatosaurus is actually just a variety of what they call a Diplodocid, a, dip, a, Diplodocus, a Diplodocid kind. And so um, it very well may be. If it very well may be, may be, because remember, all they have is just bones. But if you look at these two animals, they look very similar. They got a huge body, a long neck, and a long tail. And so just their hind legs, and their hind legs, actually, when it comes to uh, this type, the hind legs are um, uh, taller in the back and smaller in the front. It's the brachiosaur, um, which means arm lizard, that has a taller front arm than it does the back legs. The front arms are taller than the back legs. We'll stop right there. Um, I hope I haven't confused <laughs> many of y'all. But again, hitting you with a lot of information. Just chew on this if you want to um, look at some more of the, when it com comes to kinds and stuff, what is the creationist, um, what are they doing? What is their they're standing on um, on the different kinds and stuff. I would point you in the way of Answers Research Journal and the Creation Research Society. Very good, and I'm telling you, prepare to do some reading. Um, and so you're not going to get just a little top, a little bit off the top when it comes to these folks. And um, and so, but it's good, guys. It's good research. And so you want to be able to have an answer to answer those scoffers. Because um, usually I try to shy away from scoffers and debaters, but you never know who's who's standing around. And I've had that happen to me. And sometimes I've been put on the spot. And so I didn't have a choice but to answer them. And so, you know, and it's okay to say you don't know. You know, I've said that many a times. And so it don't mean you're stupid or an idiot or whatever. Knowledge isn't knowing anything, knowing everything. It's knowing where to get it. <laughs> So, you know, just remember that, you know, I always told my family, you know, my study is not my study down here. Um, it's it, the whole, it's the family study. Everything I have down here is for everybody. And so, um, and I always tell them, I always tell everybody that they ask a question of me, no matter what topic it is, if I don't know, we will find out together if it can be found out. And so, but guys, I hope uh, that this definitely helps out. Um, we are definitely got some cool topics coming up, um, still on this general topic. Um, but as far as the dinosaur, the, the, the topic of the dinosaurs on the ark, um, for the most part, this is the bulk of it. But I'm just going to kind of put a little bit extra on your plate and um, in case you want it. 
and um, and it's still interested to look at and to know. All right, you guys take care. We'll see you next time.